Hi, welcome to my desk. Hi, hello, and welcome back to the Shan guys. Today we got a really different perspective of my desk. How can we tell? It is pitch dark outside. As you can probably tell also, I have this lovely bag with something very expensive in it. I'm not loving it right now. My bank account's not loving it right now, actually. I really wanted to film this video ASAP because I really wanted to get my hands on this. I don't usually do unboxing videos on my channel, but I thought I would give it a whirl, especially because of how expensive this is. And I thought I could get some money back by posting it on YouTube. Here we are, sharing this moment together. If you aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below. If you guys like unboxing videos, I'll probably do some in the future. Before I start, I wanted to put a little disclaimer out there that I am by far not ready about this literally at all. I'm gonna tell you a story about how we got here today. This is a big purchase and I honestly was not expecting to make this anytime soon. Looking at buying a MacBook Pro, so this is just informational purposes only. I'm not trying to brag at all. So I just wanna make that very clear before everyone just has a panic attack about this. Okay, so let's get close up and personal. Today, we had an issue. We had a very big issue, folks. I am a photographer. I need my computer. That's literally my job is my computer, right? You know, I was using my beloved MacBook Air, okay? Well, my MacBook Air does not turn on anymore. Literally just shut off. As I was sitting there editing, it just shut off. I called Apple, I was like, what is going on? Like, I need my computer. I put all my sessions on my hard drive, troubleshoot all the stuff and everything like that, and it did not work. It literally did not turn on. It is the busiest time of the year, guys, for photographers, and just having your computer crash is literally the worst thing in the world, and it puts so much stress on a photographer to know that your computer is not working. It scheduled me the last appointment that they had. It was today for 6.45. I had a session that went till and I made it to the appointment right in time to um, figure out what was wrong with my computer. I took it in and I was trying to debate if I was just going to get it refurbished or like if I was gonna get it fixed up or something. Just buy a new computer. Obviously we know what I did then because I showed you the new computer. I checked it out, they told me it was gonna be $500 to repair it. I was like, <laughs> no can do. I was gonna get a new computer. At that point I'm like, this computer does not do me any good anymore just because I've had it for so long and it's just, you know, hitting that time span. <laughs> Especially with Apple, Apple always wants you to get the new products so they like spam your stuff with just viruses and stuff. But yet I keep going back. I don't know. That's just the thing. Just decided to go for a different computer. Find the lovely MacBook Pro 16 inch shabami. It's not a word. Here it is. Ta ta. Flip it around. You can see my ring light in there. How fancy. So the problem is here is that I was trying to spend as little money as possible at the store. They were out of the cheapest one possible. So I was like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Decided to go a little bit more into it and get, I forget how many terabytes this is. Is this one terabyte or is this? Yeah, it's one terabyte, 500 and some gigabytes, but they were out of that one. So I had to get the one terabyte. And I just didn't wait was because I literally have sessions waiting to be delivered. So there was no waiting. The next time that I was going to be able to get a computer that was shipped to me would have been the middle of November. And that was not going to happen. Anyways, they sold me on this computer. I'm here today to show you guys unboxing and this stuff is super satisfying. So I would suggest sticking around because it's just very satisfying. Even have this little tab here that we can just like pull off together. You know, it's just very, it's just dangling there waiting for us to do it. One sec, one sec. I did also have to buy the SD card um, port thingy mabobber. This was $40 at the Apple store. I was just desperate and had to get it instead of ordering it because I literally need it ASAP. I'm going to be saying prices in this video, but I want to make sure that it is very clear that I'm not bragging. Again, I just want to tell you guys in case you are, are trying to figure out prices for yourself. The one terabyte MacBook Pro 16 inch was a total of $2,900. Yeah, I don't like saying that number. <laughs> Basically, yeah, we're not even gonna go on a little thing about that. It's just, yeah. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the back information in case you wanna see and take a screenshot of this. You know, I'll put it on the screen. I'll just take a picture so I don't have to move, you know? Okay, so I will put that on the screen and you guys can see the information in case you wanna get the same exact one. Ready, here we go. It's always so satisfying. I'm probably gonna make this very unsatisfying for you guys. Knowing my luck. All right, so now we got the sleek box, you know, that feel. It's like matte. Okay, here we go. Ready? Come on. Yay. All right, this is what it looks like. So then you pull this tab up, brings it up. I hear my sister coming up the steps. How much do you wanna bet she's gonna knock on my door? I literally bet that you were gonna knock on my door. I heard your feet coming up. Look. 
broke. I'm filming. I know. I'm broke. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. I'm oh, literally. I look disgusting. I'm trying to get as much money as I can to pay back. She's broke, so please, so please, pay. please pay me. This is my old one. Can I have it? Yeah. You want to try and turn? Oh my it God! On? Really? Yeah. You want to have it? Oh my God! Okay. Ready? Ready? Oh. You poop. <laughs> You made me happy. Katie's gonna be sitting on this now. Going back to sad spying things. So you lift this up. Okay. Ta -da! That is heavy. That is heavy. Realize how big this is. Now in here, we got a charger thing. What is this? Is this how you charge it now? Charger. That's a new charger. I didn't realize that. Okay, well this is the new charger. It looks like this here. It just has like this information, but oh and then there's this you plug this Into the wall then so that's it for this box. That's what it looks like ready Ta -da! Let's open this baby up. Okay, ready? Okay, standing over here. <laughs> Ta -da! And then you take this paper off <laughs> Oh my gosh, it just turns on How did it know that? I didn't even press any buttons. So now for this next part, I'm probably gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see over my shoulder. Holy crap, this is a big screen. To use English as the main language, press the return key. My side of my desk now, and we're gonna go through this together so you guys can see the setup of everything. So hopefully you guys can see, but this is just picking language and everything. So this is English. The touch bar just lit up. That's so exciting. Wish I was more excited about this, but honestly, I'm just like really shocked that I actually bought it and I'm really scared. That's asking for where I'm from, so United States. And now it's asking for my Wi-Fi. So this is personal information, data and privacy, transfer information to this Mac. I'm not transferring anything. Now it's telling me to type in this code that it sent to my phone. And we're in, almost. Look how much I'm shaking right now. It's because I'm like hyped up on caffeine and just tiredness. My password information, uh, information on my password. I guess we'll unbox this while we're waiting. This is the SD card reader. Wait, it even has this little opener thingy. Okay, ready? Ta-da! That's so satisfying. I love how they package their stuff. And then we just take her out. Cool, just like that. Hooking up by my iPhone. Express setup. I think I'm going to customize settings later. It's literally just going through like the whole shabam. So like screen time. Now we're setting up Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Open the documents folder. Hey Siri. Show my downloads. Hey Siri. What's the weather? Hey Siri. What does the rest of my day look like? Cool. Hey Siri is ready. My Siri on this phone literally kept going on. Okay. All your files from iCloud. Store files from documents. Touch ID. Now we get to do that. Okay, guys, 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 guys. Basically, we have the touch ID in here. So it's lighting up down here now. I don't know if you guys can tell. Uh, do this. Though. So place, it says place your finger. Lift and rest your finger on touch ID repeatedly. Apple Pay. I can play. I can Apple Pay with that. That's crazy. I can literally pay for things with my thing on here now. I could do that on my phone, but now it's on my computer. True tone display. To make colors appear consistent in different environments. See without. Oh. Yeah, I know. It takes up like my whole hand. So let's like do a comparison. Here, put it right next to each other. Okay. And I know some of you guys are gonna ask. That computer is super old, and I use it only for school because it doesn't allow me to use the software that I need for uh, photo editing. So don't come at me. And that's from school. That's not my computer. I have so many computers. No, that's from school. That's a free computer that I just have to return later. Don't come at me. This is the difference in between the computers. If you guys can tell the size difference, the screen difference, can't show you the guys the megapixels and stuff like that, but this is the screen. Here's like a size reference of my hand. If that makes sense. I don't know. It's popping in all my stuff from my other computer. I'm just gonna go through this, set it up for like my personal liking, and then tomorrow I'll touch back in here and show you guys some changes that I made and some things that I like. We'll catch you guys tomorrow, but thank you for unboxing this precious baby with me now, and I'll see you later. Bye.
Good morning guys. So I look like complete crap right now and I am very well aware. The morning that I'm uploading this video and I just wanted to pop in here and realize that I did not update you guys on my computer. I decided to give like a little update on how I was thinking about my computer, what I was liking about it, and just like some things I changed automatically for my computer to fit my personal needs. If you guys want a go through like what's on my computer kind of thing more in depth, let me know down in the comments because I don't know if that's something that people do. I can definitely do that because I think that would be kind of fun and different from my other videos if you guys use your laptop for photos or depending on like what you use it for you're gonna have to get a couple different dongles or like what are they called the one that i got at the apple store was this one zach and i didn't realize that they didn't have a port on here usb port for my hard drive and that's really really important so i had to run to walmart that night and get this dongle that connects to my computer so then this connects to this and then my hard drive connects into here and then there's an hdmi cord for like watching tv or something so that was kind of frustrating because that was all total 80 dollars <laughs> like those are expensive things oh so something that i really like about this charger is that with my macbook air it would connect magnetically and this is like an actual plug wait maybe you can make it longer Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna be able to do this. Okay, well that fixes that problem. So basically I was just getting a little frustrated because the cord was a lot shorter than my last one, but I just made it 10 times longer. So all in all, I really, really, really love this computer. I think it is a great addition to my photography business and my YouTube channel. It's a really great computer if you're looking at getting a new one. I think like for me, I needed the bigger screen, the 16 inch. But like for people just doing schoolwork, I think it's fine to just be using like 13 inch. But for me, I wanted like the highest resolution possible to be able to edit my photos properly, be able to see those crisp images instead of looking at a 13 inch screen like I was before. I think we're just gonna like get right into what's on my computer. So we're gonna open it up. Usually it opens up to this screen where this is just my laptop background. I'm gonna do like a customation video, hopefully, or something coming up where I'll do like a background or something like that really cool and fun. Enter your touch ID or password and I just put my finger in here and it shows me my screen. This is my home screen. I like to keep it pretty minimal and um, clean looking. Over here I just have my uh, hard drives and stuff like that attached. I added some stuff and deleted some stuff also. Like I deleted some things that I really don't use like the music. Replaced it with Spotify and then I also have Zoom down here because it is 2020 and we need Zoom for our classes obviously. Room in Photoshop and then Photo Mechanic for culling pictures for my photography business and then I have Final Cut Pro. I downloaded this tiny calendar which is a link between Google Calendar and your phone calendar, so I did that and it's free. It's called Tiny Calendar if anyone wants that. I have stickies down here and um, all the other stuff is pretty much explanatory. I also did add Google Chrome because I'm a big fan of Google Chrome compared to Joel, like Safari or whatever. Touch bar and stuff, I found it actually very useful, more than I thought. How bright the screen is like this, the sound. And these speakers are so nice, guys. I must say, these are really good. You can also turn the music off. There's Siri right here. Open this up. You can customize your toolbar, and I customize it to add a screenshot feature. And, like, pause. <coughs> Whoa, okay. There's music on there. <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. So that's really nice. I actually really enjoy that touch bar feature. Flip it around for this because there's no point in me just talking about it with you seeing the computer. I use, like, Lightroom, Photoshop, or if I use Final Cut Pro, there are some features that pop up on the bar. It would be very helpful for me to just edit really quickly if you guys have any questions about the computer though i can always answer as many as possible down below that's honestly it for this video though i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comments if you want to see something like this again with me going through my laptop even more and like what i have on here and just like customizing it a little bit more other than that i hope you guys have a great day and make sure you subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye Let's play Jeopardy. Guess the amount of Kayla's new. Okay, I already thing. told them. I already told them. So oh, I have guess. to guess. I'm gonna guess. Is that the? That's the. The newest one. Why'd you buy the newest? Because I had to. That was the only one I could get. Wait, okay, guess. Okay, I need to sorry. go. Sorry. Two thousand five hundred. A little bit higher. Two thousand eight hundred. One hundred more. Two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it out loud anymore. <laughs>